Hi, hello everyone. Today our topic is periodic table, properties and variations of the properties. In this, we are going to know about what is periodic table, need for classification of elements, Dobrenner's triads, Newlands, law of octaves, Mendeleev's periodic table, modern periodic table. Now we will know what is periodic table. A periodic table is a tabular display of elements. You know how the elements are arranged? Those elements are arranged on the basis of atomic number, electronic configuration and chemical properties. Okay. In that table we have some blocks like S block, P block, D block and F block. If you take a single row in a periodic table, the left side of the row is always a metals and right side will always be a non-metals. Okay. Then the row of the table is known as periods and the columns of the periodic table is taken as groups. Okay. Then why to classify elements and what was the need for the classification of elements? In the year 1800, 30 elements were known. But now at present, 114 elements are known. And so it became a difficult task for the scientists to remember all the properties of the elements. And therefore, there was a need for the classification of elements. Okay. And many scientists tried to classify elements on different criteria. But only few scientists got success and many got failure. We will know about all the scientists now. See, stepwise development of periodic table. First came Dobrenner's law of triads and then came Newland's law of octaves. Then came Mendeleev's periodic table and then Mosley's modern periodic table. Okay, now first we will know about Dobrenner's law of triads. In 1817, Dob Dobrenner tried to classify elements with similar properties. He took all the similar properties of element and made into a groups. And he found some three elements in a group and so he called them as triads. Okay, he called them as triads. He showed when the three elements are present, the middle element atomic mass were the average of the other two atomic masses. Okay, if the example if you take here, we will take lithium, sodium, potassium. Lithium has the atomic mass of 7 AMU. Sodium has 23 AMU. Potassium has 39 AMU. Now we will take the average of lithium and potassium. That is 7 plus 39 divided by 2. We get 23 AMU. So this is one example of his triad. See the average of lithium and potassium is equal to sodium. So, this was successful at that time and then there is a limitation of this triad also. Dobrenner could only find three such triads from the periodic table of that time and this was not useful for the time. Next came the scientists by name Newlands. Newlands law of octaves. Newlands arranged all the elements according to the increase in atomic mass. Okay, and he found the first element of the periodic table had the same properties of the eighth element. If you take the example in this table, lithium if you take as the first element, the eighth element is sodium. So, lithium and sodium had same properties and this law is known as Newland's law of octaves. Okay, then limitation. This law also was not successful. Why? The law of octaves was only proved until the calcium element. After the calcium, there was no such same properties of elements from the first element to the eighth element. And he also assumed only 56 elements existed in that time and no elements will be discovered. Uh, so that was a main limitation of this theory. Then came... Uh, he fitted like two to three elements in one slot itself. He took uh, 
nickel and cobalt and put it in you know, one single slot and unlike other uh, other noble gas elements or any other elements also he had put it in one slot and this was also a limitation so this new lance law of octaves only proved for the lighter elements and hence it was not applicable for the elements having atomic mass more than 40 mu okay next came mendeleev's periodic table he arranged on the basis of atomic mass and chemical properties mendeleev took the uh, main fundamental property as atomic mass he was seeing atomic mass and chemical properties and then kept on arranging all the elements and he took hydrogen and oxygen okay and made all the elements react with hydrogen and oxygen what will you get when an element react with hydrogen you get hydrides and what will you get when the element react with oxygen you get oxides so based on the reactivity of the element with hydrogen and oxygen he placed all the elements in the periodic table okay and he formulated the periodic law as properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic mass which says the elements depend on the atomic mass in the arrangement of periodic table okay then what are the achievements of mendeleev and what mendeleev he predicted the elements that were not discovered at that time and he left the space in the periodic table as you can see in this picture like which were not discovered at that time and he left the space see for example scandium gallium germanium and he predicted the properties of the elements on the basis of position he could tell this position will get that properties only and noble gases which were discovered after his uh, mendeleev law that could fit into his table okay and even this mendeleev periodic table has also some limitation what are those limitations the position of the isotopes could not be explained in this table the position of isotopes could not be explained and the order if you take the example of nickel and cobalt cobalt has higher atomic mass and comes first be before the nickel and the reason for that this mendeleev could not explain okay and he could not give the hydrogen a proper position and the correct position it has see hydrogen has the properties of both alkali and halogen so he could not give the correct position for the hydrogen then mosley's modern periodic table later in 1913 henry mosley showed that atomic number is the fundamental property for the classification of elements in the periodic table see in the mendeleev periodic table atomic mass was fundamental property but in modern periodic table atomic number is the fundamental property and he gave the law that is modern periodic law which says properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic number and this modern periodic table has 18 groups and seven periods seven periods which is rows called periods and 18 groups that is columns 18 columns called groups okay through this modern periodic table the position of isotope is very very clear and position of nickel and cobalt is also clear then position of hydrogen is very well explained okay in this picture you can see there are 18 groups and 7 periods this is our modern periodic table okay thank you